Ladies and gentlemen, the 2024 Mercedes-Benz AMG GT is here. And why it still looks like the AMG GT from before, it's a lot different now. So that's why ladies and gentlemen, I am Menno and this is my YouTube channel and in this video is all you need to know about the new 2024 Mercedes-Benz AMG GT. But before we get started, I would like you to go ahead and subscribe to this channel, watch the video to the end and if you like it then go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Share the video with your friends and family if you think they're going to like it. And with all that said, thank you for tuning in and let's get started. And now, coming over to the power train. The 2024 AMG GT will be coming in two trims. You get the GT55 trim and the GT63 trim. And the GT55 is going to be powered by the familiar 4 litre twin turbo V8 engine that makes 469 horsepower and 516 pound feet of torque. And the GT63 is going to be powered by the same engine, the same 4 litre twin turbo V8 engine. But it's tuned up a bit. Now it puts out 577 horsepower and 590 pound feet of torque. And both will be coming with a 9 speed automatic gearbox with all wheel drive as standard. And in 2024, there will be no hybrid system to keep the powertrain clean and less complicated. And now, coming over to the performance. The GT55 model will be capable of 0 to 60 in 3.8 seconds and will max out at 183 miles per hour, while the GT63 model will be capable of 3.1 seconds 0 to 60 with a top speed of 196 miles per hour. And all the dimension is going to be coming with a drift mode. And now, coming over to the exterior design, on the first glance you can tell that yes, this is the AMG GT, but on the second glance you start to notice the difference between the two. You now get a massive grille, just like before, but now it seems lifted up a little bit. You get a 3-piece daytime running light, unlike before while still maintaining the AMG GT look. And at the back, yes, it looks a lot different now than before. You get a 3-piece rear light on a patch and that runs across the boot onto the sides. There's an air outlet, one on each side, quad exhaust tips, two on each side, and an active rear wing. With all this going on, it still maintains the AMG GT look. And also, don't expect much from the standard car because most of the extra features are now optional. For example, is the fixed carbon fiber rear wing the sunroof, the carbon fiber packages and even the little Mercedes logo on the bonnet is now optional. And in general, I think the new model looks thicker and bigger than before. Like if you look at it from angles, you know that the new model is now thick. I don't know if you get me, it's now like thicker than before. So guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you like the new looks, let me know in the comment section below. Now moving on to the next. And now coming over to the interior design, on the inside you get a 4 seater interior, 2 main seats up front and additional row at the back that can fit up to 3 average sized adults, fair enough. I won't say comfortably and it can be used for storage also and speaking of storage, since the car is now longer, wider, taller with a longer wheelbase, you get up to 12.7 cubic feet of storage space with the seats in place and when folded it increases the storage space up to 23.8 cubic feet which is quite large for a car of that class and as for the infotainment system you get an 11.9 inches touchscreen display with apple carplay and android auto a display screen for the driver a wireless charging pad as well as a bomesta audio system as for the safety and driver assistance features all of them are not quite clear yet, but it's sure to include automated emergency braking with pedestrian detection, standard lane keeping warning with lane keeping assistance, as well as adaptive cruise control. Other key features include rear wheel steering, AMG active ride control, 6 AMG dynamic select drive modes, 
electronically controlled rear limited slip differential and the latest generation of driving assistance technology. And now, what's new with the 2024 Mercedes-Benz AMG GT? So if you go for the 2024 model, what will you get in it that you don't get in the previous model? So guys, here are the four main features that comes with the new 2024 AMG GT. Number one, you get the cargo space including the rear seat, which gives you a very good amount of storage space even for a car of its class. Number two, you get the second row seat, which is going to be the first time in an AMG GT and you can fit your pets in it, you can fit your kids in it and you can even fit an average sized human being but I won't say it's going to be comfortable. Number three, you get all we drive as standard and number four, you get the new exterior design which looks bigger, wider and taller than the previous model and in general, it looks a lot thicker than before. So guys, if you like the new looks, let me know what you think in the comment section below. I've said that before. So that takes us onto the price. So Mercedes Benz has not disclosed the price of it yet, but it's said to be around the price of $150,000. So it's going to be around $150,000. And that rounds it all for this video. So guys, let me know what you think about the new AMG GT in the comment section below. Do you like it or do you hate it? Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. So that rounds it all for this video. So if you got to this point of the video, thank you for watching and thank you for staying through to this point. And if you like the video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and share the video with your friends and family if you think they're going to like it. And with all that said, thank you for tuning in and thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out and stay safe.